First things first, this is some pretty basic uh, two by one point one two five gauge square tubing. And that is also a three sixteenths plate steel made to uh, made to fit those uh, casters. So those casters were sitting on my shelf. Those are normally about. 15 bucks a piece or something like that. I think I got them for like five bucks a piece. So pretty cheap So the base of that guy is about four feet and then the total height to the center Right here is about 47 inches So by making it that height that's gonna allow me to clear those wheels So I'll be able to roll it past those wheels. At least that's the goal. I don't know if it's actually gonna work Okay, so you're probably already guessing this is a Laser cut piece. This plate right here is laser cut, as is that gusset. So all in all, I got one, two, three, four, five. I got 10 pieces of laser cut steel. Alrighty, okay, so to mount it, I have it mounted here on the hinge mounts for the door. So that's another laser cut piece. What I did is I actually, uh, took the original hinge and I actually just uh, traced it out and I had him laser cut it to match. So that's another piece there. So now we're at 12 pieces that are laser cut. And then on the back here, you're gonna see there's another piece. So same thing, traced it out, got the guy to laser cut it. Very, very simple. They are not super tight tolerance. They move around quite a bit. Now this ugly piece of steel right here it's kind of in an odd shape. That was actually a spring hanger for the leaf springs off of that axle. So that axle is getting a triangulated four link, but it came with leaf springs. So those things got cut off, smoothed out, and I repurposed them. And I used one leaf spring mount for each side. So you'll notice uh, here, if I can get in a little bit closer on this side, See that? Might be a little bit more obvious if you've ever seen a leaf spring hanger. So that's what they all look like on the back side. Okay, so you'll notice this is a square piece of tubing that runs across right to here. Now I made them a little bit shy of the appropriate length to allow me to uh, slide it in nice and easy. Now these are just held in with a C-clamp for the time being, but they will be fastened with a nut and bolt. So I wanted this thing to be able to uh, be completely disassembled and hung on my wall because I do not have a lot of room in my shop. Now, you'll notice if, you, if I step back here, this point to that same point on the other side of the truck is narrower, it's a shorter measurement than that point back there to that point there. So what you'll find here is that this angle, this piece is actually not perpendicular to this bar. This piece is actually at an angle. So what they did is that hole that's cut in there and that piece of steel is actually a little bit oblong. It's more of an oval. It is the correct height, but it is wider by about an eighth of an inch to allow movement left and right. So what I've done here is that pipe is also one eighth. It is one and three quarters width outer diameter. And then this piece of steel is just a little bit more than one and three quarters inside diameter. So this uh, piece of steel rotates in. So I welded these two plates on. You'll notice that these holes are staggered. I did that because I didn't want to use a ton of steel this way. So I figured if I staggered them, it would allow me to uh, save steel. But what I did is now when this bolt swings down to here, it doesn't line up. So I got to cut these off. I got to make it so all of these holes are the same distance from center. Every single one of them. So they all line up. I have them all set. So they're all uh, 22 degrees. From each other starting at 90 degrees to 90 67.5 45 22.5 and 0 degrees 
So that allows me to uh, rotate the crab, the cab as I uh, as I wish. Now you'll notice that I have a locking pin. So this locking pin right here locks the rotational arm to this backing plate. There's another backing plate right here that is welded to the main support housing. So in essence, as soon as these two plates are locked together, that bar can no longer spin, which disallows this cross brace to rotate. Now, this bolt right here is welded to this out outer tube and it maintains a, uh, the position of this cross tube with this bar right here, which is also the same bar that runs straight through to here that is welded to this plate. And now this bar or tube, whatever, has a mount on it so I can actually hook my engine hoist to it. Now I can lift my cab up and off without having to use a piece of two by four or four by four in the ceiling of the truck. So that is that part. I still need to do a little bit more reinforcement. I need a little bit more one by two from that caster up to the appropriate height on the main po uh, post right here. That'll uh, prevent this little guy from bowing. As you might notice, it is already, it has a little bit of a bow in it right here. It kind of goes down like that. But there's not a whole bunch of weight on this cab yet. This cab is pretty bare, so it doesn't have a whole lot of weight, so I'm not too concerned about it for the time being, but it will get corrected. So that is that. Now, that mistake being made, that's something to watch out for if you didn't notice that right away and call me out on it. I will give you a little bit of a walk around on the ease of, ease of use of this uh, rotisserie. So what I'll do here is I'll actually uh, just set this camera down and I'll kind of give you an idea about what it uh, what it's like to use. Alrighty. So this is the primary purpose of why I built this thing. Check this out. Move this thing around. As I need. Now Take this camera around for you again. Okay. So, the other side is exactly the same as this side. So, I've already removed the pin from the other side. Now, if I remove this pin, if I were to pull it right now, the truck, the cab would spin around. So, what I'll do is I'll just lift up the weight off of it, pull the pin. Look at that. Beautiful. because now I can work on the dash way easier. I can actually get right in here through the firewall and get into the dash. That is sweet. Nice. So, let's finish this. Let's do a full rotation on this guy here. Figure out how I can do this. Take the weight off this. This. That is tight. Look at that. Hey. 
Hell yeah. Okay, check this out. Bam! Watch this. Now, I can work on the bottom of my cab and finish these cab corners. I can replace these braces. I can do all my measurements. I can figure out all my floorboard stiffener. Man, this is awesome. Sweet. I can finish my rocker out. One of these Pelican rockers, I think. Yep, I can replace those. I am so excited to work on this again. Awesome. Okay, so that is that. I should probably fix this instead of just walking away. There's still quite a bit of tension on this, so I probably shouldn't leave it. Let's, uh... Ballet, but not uh, not shitty. Look at that. Move this cap out of the way. Sweet. There we go. What I can do is throw some pretty simple instructions in the description if anyone's interested, and. Uh, Check it out. Thanks for watching.